One day after the tragic death of a 17-year-old hiker, park officials discussed the importance of following trail rules. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman went to the area where the fall happened. There have been two previous incidents where hikers fell, but both survived. Sadly for this teen, he did not. The high rock formations in Klondike Park make for great hiking and views, but they can also be very dangerous. I won't say this is exactly for the beginners. Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox captured the dramatic scene after a 17-year-old lost his footing and fell roughly 100 feet to his death on Tuesday afternoon. He was in an area closed off to visitors. These areas do carry an inherent danger or a risk, and I think it's important that people know that. At a bluff that resembles the scene, there are at least half a dozen signs to keep visitors out, something park rangers enforce. They are out in the parks trying to make sure that the public is enjoying the park safely. As you walk along this trail, you see plenty of signs from the Parks Department that says do not cross. But when you get over to certain points, as you can see by this trail, people certainly do break the rules and make their own paths. It's unclear whether this is the route the hiker took, but the trail fits the description by authorities. Some visitors tell us risky behavior is frequent throughout the park. I feel like it happens a lot. Like People are just natural rule breakers. We always want to go where we shouldn't go. Park officials remind visitors to not only listen to warnings, but know before you go. It's important to wear proper fitting shoes that match the terrain. I would say let somebody know where you're going and uh, when you plan to be back. Making sure visitors stay prepared and alert with plenty of summer season still to go. No new information has been released, but when we have more updates, we will bring it to you. Reporting in St. Charles County, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.